all the way to 06. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Talking with uh, retired Colonel uh, Kevin Ford here on the uh, uh, at, at Southern Wells. You've done a number of school programs like this. Have you yeah. had somebody come up to you later and say, "Hey, I really appreciate hearing from you. Uh, you know, it 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 caused me to do this, that, or something else." Uh, I haven't had anybody come directly back to me personally yet. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Yenser mentioned, um, I, I, truth is, I came here and I did a talk with some students here many years ago, maybe 14 mm -hmm. years ago when I was a test pilot, All right. before I went to NASA. And since then, one of those students has gone on uh, to become a pilot himself, and according to him, uh, inspired by the talk. <laughs> I know I was inspired by things like this uh, when mm -hmm. I was in high school, uh, whether it was a new airplane in the park, um, whether it was an astronaut, we did have an astronaut come mm -hmm. and talk when I was in high school. Uh, my my older brothers just being a model, you know, right. for me in aviation, saying, right. hey, let's go out to the airport and look at the planes. So those are the kinds of things that inspired me. So I think it's the exposure mm -hmm. uh, to this sort of thing that, that's the spark. And, and, and I haven't had anybody come up and say, well, I have had a few say it, and nobody today come up and say, I'm going to go be an astronaut. <laughs> and, you know, and, I, and I probably wouldn't really realistically want them to. I just want them to think about the options they have and the possibilities they have. As, as, I, I got to ask this. As a guy, do you ever just sit there and you're in space and you go, I'm in space yeah. flying! I, yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> one, of the, uh, one of the moments I'll never forget from the flight right. uh, is two weeks, two weeks of amazing events. But um, one of the most profound was we launched at midnight. Uh, we've been in the spacecraft for three and a half hours. Right. Uh, walked out to a very, very, uh, just unbelievable scene. There are vapors blowing around on the launch pad, xenon mm -hmm. lights. You launch into space, it was completely dark. And 16 minutes after launch, the sun came up over the earth. And it's way down there. Yeah. And it's very blue and beautiful. And I couldn't believe that the machine had yeah. done what they said it would do. I couldn't believe that the engineers and scientists who developed all this technology to make this possible right. had done what uh, what they had done to put us there because now I really was in a little piece of metal yeah. in space and uh, it's just incredible to see that that really happened not just in a simulator mm -hmm. but in real life.